Hi, I'm David Tracy with Jalopnik. Today I'm going to show you the insides of a 70 year old Jeep engine. Right now my driveway is in shambles uh, because I've been wrestling with this old thing uh, for days and let me show you what I've been going through. Uh, so here is the engine uh, bay, the engine bay from my 1948 Willys CJ2A. It is a void right now. And now my engine is right here, sitting on my, uh, sitting in the driveway on an engine stand because my garage is filled with cars. Arguably the most first world problem you've heard all day. So anyway, let's look at this engine and see um, what it looks like. So if you look at the cylinder walls, they look okay. They don't look bad. The, the groove here, between where the, uh, the piston rings ride and where they uh, no longer uh, ride along the, uh, the bore, you know, it's not a gigantic uh, groove, so that's good. Cylinder walls look good. The valves look okay-ish. Uh, it's been bored 30 thousandths of an inch over. Um, that's good because these these engines are they have a very long stroke and they don't last very long. You can see that it's been bored over by looking right there at the top of the pistons. You see the number 30, and that that means 30 thousandths of an inch over. The downside is to remove that cylinder head. I had to cut three studs because for some reason the cylinder head just wouldn't slide off the top. Now we'll flip it over and we'll look at the bottom end. Uh, and see what's going on down there. Ooh. Oh my. This is beautiful. Alright, so there are the, the cams. So there's a cam lobe, there's one, there's another one. I honestly expected them to be worn down pretty flat, you know, after 70 years. Uh, of course, I don't know if these are original, but they seem okay. The cam looks okay. So here's the bottom of the oil pan. Now this usually gives you a, a huge indication of wear, and right away you can see these kind of waves. Look at that sludge. Uh, I still don't know why I'm only getting 60 psi of compression. I'll have to adjust all the valves, and I might hone the cylinders and put new rings in it, but I think that's probably all I'll do. So this was good news. The inside of my engine looked good. The camshaft lobes weren't worn down. There weren't huge chunks of metal in my oil pan. The cylinder walls weren't scored. Maybe that engine will get my, my willies all the way to Moab, maybe. But I've still got a ton of work to do, including cleaning up my really messy driveway. 